Well, hi guys. Uh, it's Sunday afternoon. Yes, Laz. Mm -hmm. Okay, kitty's got to have some lovin's. But, uh, I was going to change the water pump and thought, you know, you got to, before you do that, check kind of everything out. Uh, the belts that I took off are Hey, look. Sorry, Laz. Uh, a little bit glazed looking. I have another set that I took off the old 95 that are a lot better belt, but I just don't know how old they are. And they're stiff. But the drain the radiator out and come up with this and the problem is oil uh, a good bit of it I just got done draining it and I dumped a clean bucket of water in it gallon of water and got that it's slimy. So I'm thinking I need to flush this system out good. I mean good. Get some motor flush and run through it. Uh, thought about using purple power, but uh, that's a little bit too corrosive. Um, you know, I'm, I've known for ever since I got the combine that it's been leaking getting oil into the radiator. I've known that from day one. Um, but this is <laughs> this is something else. This is thick gooey almost uh, antifreeze that come out of there and this stuff is Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking the water pump actually might be all right. It's just got a lot of oil in it, and it's it, oil doesn't cool like water. So I think we're going to go get some motor flush and fill the combine up full of water and. Take it over to the house and back it in there and get the water hose out and give it a good hosing. Uh, you know, it's what else can you do at this point? Um, I think the water pump's working. I think it's just got so much crap in it that it just, it just can't cool itself. And, you know... With antifreeze that looks like, I don't know what, brown sludge. Ain't going to cool too good, is it, Dad? Nope. It's, <laughs> Not at all. you know, there's a water pump sitting right beside him. But I took off the other machine that is ready to go. It's free, it's clean, moves good, but kind of looking at it and thinking about it, uh, a good flush might help this, this combine out. So I think that's what we're going to do here in just a few minutes. So hang on guys, we'll be back and see what happens. Well, the neighbor is shelling corn and cutting beans too. <laughs> Oh well, got a bin load.
Yeah. They're cutting and shelling. I don't know how. Because them is wet and, you know. But we're getting there, guys. So we'll be back in a bit. Well, this is round two of the clean out. Look at one. Lots of oil. Bucket two. Hot water with a little oil in it. Number three is working with a can of radiator flush. So I'm hoping this works. <laughs> this is starting to get messy. So we'll be back in a bit, guys. See what happens. So while we sit here and wait for this to heat up and circulate, <laughs> that's okay. What do you think about it, Mom? just going to sit here for about 15 20 minutes and look at this thing run and amuse ourselves <laughs> hey that right dad <laughs> so we'll be back guys Six 
65 degrees. Oh. But it shouldn't be running that hot. Should not be nowhere near that hot. Not what I want to do. I was really, really, really hoping that flushing the radiator would do it. I tried it, Bill. <laughs> uh, Bill Whitman suggested this, and I'd kind of thought about it before. So I went ahead and did it. And it's Ain't gonna do it. What do you think? Water pump? I don't know. Or bad head gasket or cracked head? Don't know. <laughs> I don't either. I really, 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 really don't want to think about pulling that head. Uh, that is a mother and a half. Because that dude is just unbelievably heavy. So, we gave it a good shot today. Run 15 gallon of water through it. It's got the uh, uh, radiator flush stuff in it right now. Uh, probably just leave it sit till tomorrow. Come up, drain it, and start pulling the pump uh, the beans out here I checked them just a little while ago and they're they're every bit of 20 percent ain't they because yeah, they're they just yeah they're real tough and soft but yet the local big-time operator uh, the field next to us there's I forget how many acres, but they're halfway done with it, uh, and I think it's 80 acres, 80, 90 acres, and uh, get over here where you might be able to see on the other side of the tree line over there. They've got 200 acres of beans. They've had two combines in there rolling, cutting beans today, and I really don't know how. Uh, beats me. I don't even know how they're getting them to haul. These are tough. I mean, really tough. You got to work really hard to get them to haul. And like I say, they're wet. They're soft. But, maybe that's just me and mine, but, you know, what the heck, they got two combines, two fields over, cutting soybeans, and they've got two big ones in here shelling corn. And, 
two four-wheel drives and humongous grain carts chasing them through the field uh, I'd say they'll be coming here in just about a minute so maybe I'll get a video of them <laughs> so I think this is where my day ends get stuff put up and uh, call it a day I really really hoped that flushing the radiator uh, would solve the problem I had to try it before I take the water pump off uh, you know one uptown to get new fan belts for it and nobody has a 40 and a half belt or a 41 39 and a half is too short uh, 41 and a half would have worked but no they don't have them well I shouldn't say that one place did have them uh, 41s but uh, they were for a lawnmower and they were $16.99 a piece so I says uh-uh nah ain't doing it so we'll do something else but I'm quite sure there's something else going on besides those two belts so we'll see you next time and as always please comment rate and subscribe and we'll see you next time guys see you there even I got breakdowns <laughs> We'll see you next time. Well, let me see if we can see. Well, I wish you could see that. It's set for 10 minutes. And that temperature gauge was over here hot. It's just been sitting 10 minutes uh, shut off and it's clear over here in the cold. So I'm really starting to wonder. This really doesn't make sense. So This is this is about to get irritating. Uh, now it's probably about seven o'clock. Uh, I don't know here. What the heck? Want to hear a good one? Uh. Turn the key on, start it up, temperature gauge is all the way over cold. Huh. And just slowly, just barely come up some. So now I'm really wondering what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Music could be bad. Well, that's what I'm wondering. I'm, I've been wondering if it's picking up heat off of that muffler. I don't think so. Well, it's four inches away from it. And it's not in the block, it's above the block on that T. So, could be one in the block somewhere. I don't know where it is. Well, we'll see you next time, guys. I got some figuring to do. It's about 7 o'clock. There goes one turning. He's going back. There's the next one.
That's probably a 12 or a 16 row head that they're running. Something else. Uh, about two hours they'll have this start to finish they'll have this field done. <laughs> so we'll see you next time guys. The neighbors is just showing off. That's all it is. <laughs> see you next time guys.